So here's a more challenging example. This one probably doesn't scream trig, inverse trig to you when you look at it, right? You don't see anything that suggests inverse trig, um, or trig for that matter, it looks like a rational function. Okay. Um, but what would you do with this as a rational function, right? I mean, you could try to factor the bottom, but does that get you anywhere? Not really, right? Once you learn some of these like partial fraction techniques, you might be able to proceed in that direction, except what you're going to find in this case is maybe that bottom doesn't factor nicely, at least not over the reals. And then what do you do, okay? Well, you might try a U substitution, but again, what are you going to do? Substitute the bottom, you'd need, a, you'd need a 2x minus 4 on top. You don't have it. Okay, so what you can do, and one thing you can always try if, if you're stuck, you don't see any, any other options, is you can try complete the square, right? So if we complete the square on the bottom, What is that going to look like? So x squared minus 4x plus 13 equals, okay, so x squared minus 4x plus what gives me a perfect square, right? Um, well, I get that cross term of minus, you know, we take half of this, right? So we should have half of 4 with 2, 2 squared is 4, right? Um, we want that because this is going to be I'm skipping ahead, but you know, what is this? This is going to be the square of x minus 2, okay? Um, okay, but, well, that's not quite right. We can't just turn 13 into 4. Well, but what we can do is turn 13 into 4 plus 9. Okay, good. So, with that realization, we re write the integral as 1 over x minus 2 squared plus 9, which is 3 squared. And now this starts to look a little bit more like the one that we just did, right? In fact, what we can do is we can bring out a 1 over 9 and We can write x minus 2 squared over 3 squared, right? So I skipped a step there, but hopefully you see what happened, right? x minus 2 squared is, well, still x minus 2 squared. Uh, 3 squared is 9, right? If I multiply the 9 through, 9 times that 1 over 9 gets me back to there. 9 times 1 gets me back to there, okay? So it's the same. All right. So again, so far I haven't, all I've done is manipulate the integrand, right? I've just done a little bit of algebra. I've rewritten it in a different way. But having written it in this way, now we can see that there's a substitution that works. We can try letting u equal to x minus 2 over 3. So that gives me du equal to 1 over 3 dx. Or if you like, dx is 3 du. <coughs> Good. So I get 1 over 9 times the integral. So this becomes 1 over u squared plus 1. dx becomes 3 du. Again, 3 can come out. 3 over 9 is 1 over 3. 1 over u squared plus 1. gives me arctan of u. All right. And as usual, all we have left to do is put back in that u was x minus 2 over 3.